Well, on the first day of a new school year, the Prime Minister visited three family islands today. On the first day of the academic year last year, the Prime Minister visited his alma mater, C.R. Walker Senior High School. Today, the Prime Minister received a warm welcome from family island students in Exuma and San Salvador. Prime Minister Dr. The Honorable Hubert Menace arrived at the Exuma International Airport in Georgetown shortly before 9 o'clock Monday morning and was greeted by a delegation of senior government officials. He then traveled to the L.N. Coakley High School, better known as Panther Country, where he addressed a special assembly for 7th, 8th, and 9th graders. The students were eager to meet the Prime Minister and hear his words of inspiration. But it's our responsibility to provide all the necessary tools for you so that you can become well-educated. And it's your responsibility to work hard, to work hard, remain focused, read and absorb as much as you possibly can. Regardless to your background, how rich or how poor you may be, each and every one of you stand and can possibly become the Prime Minister or whatever you want to become in this country. This is the first time that I can remember the Prime Minister coming to Exuma to address us as a staff and, and a body uh, to hear what he has this particular interest in and it really would motivate us to do even better than we did last year. I'm just like energetic and happy at the same time. I am very delighted that he came to Ellen Coakley this morning to encourage us. And the Prime Minister came to Exuma bearing gifts. He presented students with several backpacks with essential school supplies inside to ensure they're well equipped for the new academic year. The Prime Minister even took time out to chat with a few Ellen Coakley students to hear their plans for the future. The Prime Minister's second stop on his three island tour on the first day of the new academic year was here in Rumkey, where he viewed damage sustained from an electrical fire here at the Rumkey All Age School. Prime Minister Minnis saw firsthand the damage sustained from an electrical fire in the kitchen of the Rumkey All Age School on the weekend. Rumkey's chief counselor, Craig Gator, explained how extinguishing the fire was a full community effort. When I got here, there was a lot of guys already on the scene, but what we did with limited resources, um, as you can see some, some lines here where we were trying to get water and it was real difficult to even get in there to contain the fire. It took us a long time, but again, the community, with the team effort, we, 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 really, get, we really got it done. What a community effort to extinguish the fire here at Rumkey All Age. Were you here? I was here at the beginning. It was awesome because all the young men and the young ladies who could do help to put out the fire, they did well. So we just want to thank God. It was in the worst. God is awesome. The Prime Minister also met with the parents and the eight students of the Rumkey All Age School. He also provided school supplies for them at the start of this new academic year. But I explained to them that I've spoken to individuals within the private sector before I left New Providence and I was assured by members of the private sector that whatever they need as students in Rum Key and to get themselves back in order and going to ensure that they achieve whatever goal they want to accomplish that the private sector would um, make those things available. From Rumkey, the Prime Minister traveled to San Salvador where he visited two schools. The first stop was here at the United States Primary School. There was a special man named Hubert Menace. He was so smart and he never drank Guinness. He was in it to win it and that's what he did. A real man of business, Dr. Menace. <laughs> After those words, in the form of a limerick, was read to the Prime Minister, he wished the teachers and students of the United States Primary School well for the new school year and also gave them school supplies. It was then off to the San Salvador Central High School, where students learned more about the government's plans for the nation's youth. In the family islands, information takes slow in getting here. And uh, he come first hand and tell the kids about uh, the BTVI program and the University of Bahamas program. I think that would encourage them and give them more zeal and energy to work hard. I'm very happy that he came to see us and I appreciate that he came on the first day. How excited are you for your first day in high school to meet the Prime Minister? I feel amazing for the first time meeting him. It was quite exciting and it was a good experience. 